Okay, and if you didn't see it, here is slow mo. Look, there it is. There it is. Up, 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 and away. Right, and he blocked it. You ready? You you ready to get into it? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, Asia in the building. Yes, ma'am. So look, look at here. First thing first. Shout out two one six. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. You from Akron, Ohio. You right down the street. So have you? Are, are you born and raised here? What's your What's your background in Akron? I've been in Cleveland like ten years. So most of my adult life, I've spent in Cleveland. I moved here. I was working at Allstate at the time, and I had moved to Bedford. And shortly after I moved there, it was like your rent going up $300. So I got up out of there, and I ended up moving to, like, the uh, Glenville area. And so I was over there for a long time, and now I'm in a different little suburb. But I've been in Cleveland a minute. Hey, Glenville? That's where I'm from. I'm from the Glenville area. Really? Yes, yes. Glenville High School. Yeah, I'm a graduate of Glenville High School. Yep, Sorry. 1988. That's what's up. Hey, so let's, let's uh, get into it, man. So you came on TikTok and you shared a story about what happened at the, what, hockey game? Go ahead and take us back. Yeah. Take us back to what happened there. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So I wasn't going to do this, but it's been a day and it, it's been on my mind since it happened. TikTok, I need your help finding someone. This man right here. He has to be from Northeast Ohio, Akron, Cleveland area, somewhere near here. Let me explain why. So this happened April 11th, Thursday. All right, we are at Rocket Mortgage Field House. We're watching the Lake Erie Monsters play. There's the guy I'm looking for right next to my son. I'm there with my best friend and my son. We're watching the game. It's getting real good. It's getting hectic. You know, towards the end, third period, it was a lot of fights. Ref got hit in the mouth. Stuff was going on, right? Now, out of nowhere, this puck comes out of heaven straight towards my son's head. Oh, my God. Okay, and if you didn't see it, here is slow-mo. Look, there it is. There it is. Up, 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 and away, right? And he blocked it. He blocked it. My son had chips of ice in his hair, okay? And if you know anything about a hockey puck, it's more dense than a baseball. That thing is a flying TBI. And I just, I feel sick when I think about it because I have the reaction time of a sloth. This dude literally saved my son's life. He prevented a life-changing event from happening. And so there's even more to the story. Damn, that light bright. So he was just like a really nice guy. Like he was talking to us throughout the game or whatever. And he is either a really patient person or he just doesn't mind kids because my son was acting an ass, right? He told me early on in the game that he was sleepy, but we're already at the game. I'm not going to leave. We're, we're going we're gonna to make the best of the situation, right? So my son was doing a lot of jumping and screaming and bouncing. I'm watching the game for five seconds. I turn around and look at him. He laying on the chair feet up in the air kicking next to this man and he had got up and sat back down in that same seat about three times the man did and after he caught the puck he told me that the empty seat next to him was his seat too if I was him I would have been switched seats next to this badass little kid can't sit still doing all this extra stuff but he stayed in that seat and he was like I was meant to be here and he was like you cannot tell me God is not real so after everything had happened, my head was just pounding, you know, just like that adrenaline rush, just because it was just such a close call, right? I got that picture with him and my son, and then we pretty much got up and left. I didn't get his name or anything, and I thought about it later, like, man, that situation could have been so bad. That situation could have been so bad, and I owe that man lunch or dinner another thank you I mean because I cannot imagine my baby getting hit with that hockey puck those things are hard and they come off that ice fast man well it was like end of the game period um it was probably like a minute 40 seconds left in the game or whatever the other team was down by one point and it was just a scramble 
because we were fighting to clinch our playoff first, and the other team was fighting for a playoff spot. So they fight and refs getting hit in the face, all this crazy stuff going on. My friend is recording, you know, so she can post it to her TikTok, the fights and whatnot. And she caught that puck coming into the crowd. You know, we were real lucky. Andrew was sitting right next to us. And, like, he he was watching the play unfold, like, before it actually happened. So he was up and ready. And he stopped that puck from hitting my son in the face. So what made you thought that TikTok would be the, would be the platform to come on to see if somebody can find him? Because I, I like TikTok. I say TikTok is, like, my favorite form of social media and I see people able to find other people all the time but I had actually already tried to call Mortgage Fieldhouse I called him and I said you know I explained the situation and I'm like you know can you look up my seat number and see who purchased the seat next to me but they told me I need to talk to the monsters the monsters weren't in and I would have to wait till Monday so I just made the TikTok just to see if you know, a few people would share it, and maybe I could get in contact with him. I wasn't expecting it to do what it did. So who who was who was the in between? Who who was the connection to actually you know, to get you in contact with Andrew? Um, so I posted that TikTok at two o'clock in the morning on Saturday, and by ten a.m. I had a DM from him because the video had like almost a million views within those eight hours. So it got back to him pretty fast. I don't know who in particular sent it to him, but he told me multiple people sent him the video and asked, was it him? So I'm sure you're excited to hear him later in the evening. What was the conversation like? Um, when he DM'd me, he didn't really identify himself. He was just like, everything happens for a reason. I'm glad your son is okay. And so I kind of had to ask him, like, is this you? And he was like, yep, it's me. And I, I just really gave him a heartfelt thank you. Um, and I told him, you know, when the playoffs start, I would love to get him tickets to the playoffs, you know, as a thank you. Awesome. And um, so that was it as far as our conversation at the time. But we talked later on because we ended up going to another Monsters game that night. Let's talk about that. At that Monsters game, that was the, that was the game that – you guys was identified and I had to, had the ceremony with with your son dropping the puck on the on the field. Yes. Yeah. So shout out to Andrew, man. It's it, it was great that that his instincts just kicked in. Yo, whoever was recording that just just happened to turn around and and, and my guy just just went into action like and I right. I'm I'm just thankful that he was there because it could have it it, it could have went ugly like real ugly but and you and me both andrew was there he was he was definitely there to deflate it and like you said god put people in places that's for whatever reason so now you you have reached out to the monsters and let them know did you reach back out to them again to, to, to let them know that you found the guy and you guys was able to come together with them to get that to get that ceremony and everything in place um <clears throat> so around the same time clock in the morning when i had woke up monsters had already reached out to me and they were like hey we think we can help you find andrew and i told them i was like i already found him so they were like great why don't you guys all come out to a hockey game tonight you know and so they had already planned what they were going to do and tell us so. When we got there, we met with a representative and we got to go downstairs by the locker room and like high five and fist bump all the players as they came out and happened. Then they like just flipped it on us and they're like, all right, you guys are going to do the puck drop in front of everybody. And I was like, oh my God. So your son was excited. He kept dropping the puck like, "Is it? Is am I ready yet? Am I ready yet? Am I ready yet?" How was your son from the incident? I'm I'm sure he was like real scared. How how was he afterwards? I don't even know what happened. You know, like in the TikTok video, I said he was like acting bad and bouncing around and doing all this stuff. You don't know that the puck even almost hit him. 
scared because everybody was yelling and reaching over him and he didn't know what was going on. But 30 seconds later, the kids behind us, they actually fell behind his head. They gave him the puck and he was, he was super happy with that. Wow. And, and again, like you said, it just, it, from the video, you couldn't even, you couldn't even tell it. Like it, it just came from out of nowhere. Ooh. Well, Asia, I, I am definitely glad that he was there. Shout out to Andrew. So did the monsters offer you, I, I know this is probably a crazy question, but did they offer you guys any type of conversation like here type deal? Oh, well, you know, games, it's like a baseball game. You go at your own risk. You get hit by a ball or you get hit by a puck, you get hit by a ball or you get hit by a puck. It's not their responsibility. They did reach out to me after we went to the game and everything. And, you know, they said it was a pleasure having us and let them know if I wanted to come to any games in the future. But that could blame them anyway. Like, it's, it's a freak accident. That's that's fair. That's fair. So would you say now all your games is is covered or is it just just to let them know that you're coming so that they can probably give you upgrade your seats or something like that? Oh, no, I have no idea. I mean, I'll take either one. Expecting, honestly. You know, I hope either they'll be covered or they'll upgrade me because last time we got to sit at the glass and I don't think I can go back to sitting on the crowd. You're a Monsters fan, are you? Definitely, I'm definitely a Monsters fan. Those games are fun. And we, we typically have a good team. Now, you see, I'm not into hockey like that. And I, I, I didn't even I know of a hockey team here in Cleveland, but I, I didn't know it was still in existence i i thought it was like defunct like the cleveland rockers the female basketball team the cleveland gladiators not the baseball but we had an arena football team called the cleveland gladiators so i i i didn't think the monsters was a thing but obviously it is and shout out to them for doing what they did on their part again shout out to andrew for definitely be there so at the end i'm i'm, I'm sure there's like a friendship connection between you and him now have you guys talked any afterwards or was it like a one-off thank you very much type deal or whatever yeah we're still in contact and we're still talking you know, I don't I don't believe in coincidences, so I do hope that we can have a friendship. Asia, thank you very much for coming in and sharing your story. That was a freak accident, crazy, crazy thing. Have the have the news got wind of this? Because I, I seen everything off of TikTok, but have any of the local news uh, reached out to you and 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 talked to you? Yeah, so that first day when we went back to the hockey game, we had Fox 8, um, oh my, I can't even think of what three news people were there, but we had three stations pick it up that day. And then since then, I think it's been picked up by like every major outlet. It was on NBC Nightly News. I did an interview with the New York Times. We were on Good Morning America, CBS Nightly News. I mean, Inside Edition, it's, it's literally been everywhere. Soaring on through, and my first instincts was just to cover up. I had a couple other kids sitting behind me as well, so I just tried jumping in front of it and was able to deflect off my hand and luckily go over top of him and fall behind him. Like, I don't know if this is Spider-Man next to me or who this is because he was so quick. Like, he he saw it before anybody else had it. I picked it up from, from TikTok. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen it 
anywhere else but man congratulations for the, for the outlook of getting the story out there man but yeah that's that's that is unbelievably crazy speaking of craziness let's before we get up out of here uh, let's touch on some of the comments that was thrown your way in the in the comment session of the videos i know you you came on and you addressed a few of them but what were some of the more crazier comments that that you couldn't believe that somebody would sit there and say? Um, I mean, it's, it's not that I couldn't believe because people are always going to be negative. What I really couldn't believe is who most of the negative comment, comments were coming from. It was mostly like black women who had like the most negative things to say. Like that was insane to me. But um, the one that I addressed was she didn't say it in the actual comment that I responded to. But it was a whole thread of her just being really negative and really nasty. And it was like two other black women in that thread saying the same thing, saying I had no maternal instinct. Um, I protected myself. Maybe if I wasn't on my phone, I could have uh, stopped the puck myself and all this other stuff. And it's like, well, I, I hope you're never in a situation where there is a puck speeding at your face. The people are saying, I've been in that situation. No, you haven't. I don't know any other black people who go to hockey games but me. Yeah, that's that's wild to me. Look, it happened fast. Like, luckily for Andrew and his reaction time, but it happened fast, man. So how could you maternal instincts will kick in because you, you'll see it. But how, how you expect to know that? It's like... You said somebody get hit by a baseball. You you don't you don't go there and be like today's the day I'm going to get hit by a baseball. Or exactly, you have your your kid bouncing around having fun and all like that. You didn't think today's the day a hockey puck is going to come over here to him. Yeah, and that wasn't our first game. I've never seen that happen. It didn't even occur to me that that was a thing that happens before it happened. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just think a lot of keyboard cowboys, cowgirls just want to say something like they just want to they just want to see the negativity in the situation and not see the situation as a whole. There there was a gentleman there that put his safety on the line to protect the kid that he didn't even know. Shout out to him. Thank him. Don't have a thread talking about, oh, well, if you wasn't on your phone and the maternal. No, no. And you respond to your response to it is very well adequate. You, you just hope that they're not in a situation like that where you have to make a split second decision. But people just love to right. love to come out and just want to say something. And again, like, you didn't have to put it out there on TikTok. You uh, you didn't have to let the world know, but you was honestly looking for the young man so that you can uh, so that you can thank him. Thank you. But you got you got yeah. crazy people like that coming after you. That's crazy. That's again, that's wild to me, man. So yeah. Um, you know, the majority of the comments have been positive, so that's not something that I even let get to me. So after everything that happened, what about his father? What did his father say about what happened when you told him that this young man diverted a worldwide situation? Um, he pretty much had the same response as everybody else. You know, like, thank God that he was there. You know, you know, he was, he was just happy that Nazir wasn't hurt. 